Hi, welcome to another dialogue tutorial. It's Paul here from No Code 45. Today, I want to show you how to build your own cryptocurrency watch application without writing a single line of code. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using an external database, uh, which is from CoinMarketCap. And from there, we will get recent information about crypto and we'll display it in our application. So just like the way we always get started, go, go create a new application from a blank screen and just call it Quer and crypto app. So just call it anything you want to call it, but I'm going to call my crypto application. Choose a color. Just going to choose a different color entirely. Mm. Okay, I think oh. okay, I think this color is great. So then go ahead and create. Click on the button create and it's going to open this up. So what we're looking for, we're not going to, we're not creating anything from our, from our, from our, anything from our database. We're just going to use the sign up and login screen, the home screen, and one other screen. So it's just a simple application that will enable our, that will enable our users to, to see the recent coin that have been added to the, to, you know, in the crypto industry. So that's what we're creating. So next, I want you to go to CoinMarketCap slash API. You know, go re register. It's free of charge. You're not paying a dime. But if you want to use more resources, then you have to pay. Then you go ahead and generate your own API key. Once you're done with that, click on login. So I, I have I have an API key here already. So hence the reason why I'm click clicking on login. Just go ahead and you'll be able to get your own API key straight up from CoinMarketCap. I'm going to, yeah. So just copy, copy your API key because you're going to need this. Then go back to the documentation because this is where we're going to find most of the information that we need. Uh, CoinMarketCap requires authentication for you to use your API. So just type the word here, auth. Just type the word here, auth. Click on authentication so you can read what, how, so you can read how you auth their API. So right here, we have our base URL. We have our base URL, which we're going to use. And we have the custom header, which we are also going to use. Then we so then we are we're going to put the API key also. So that's how you do it. So let's go to our crypto watch app. Click on our database. Click on the database and click on add collection. Yeah. Then just call it coin. Just call it crypto coin market cap. Market cap connection. So just call it that way. Then put the base URL right here. Copy the base URL from here. Yeah, copy it and put it here like so. That's what you want to do. Then for the perimeter, click on add item, then add, add a header. So you know an API consists of several stuff. It consists of the resources, consists of the art, consists of the header. So we're going to add the header and the name, this is where you get the name from. You get the name from here. This is the name, the, head, the name of the header right here like so. Copy it. So we'll copy it and put it here. Once you're done copying it, you put your API key here. So this is where you put your API key. I'm just gonna, you know, add the API key right here like so. Say done and click on next. And here you want to get something. You want to get something, right? So, but we don't know what we're getting yet. Let's go to, let's go back here. Click on crypto. Just, just type the word here, crypto, because we want to get a resource. A particular resource right here. So once you get the latest listing, that's what we want to get here. Click on it. And you can see we have the data right here. You know, data right here, right? That's the record that we're looking for. And this is the URL, the saver URL that we're going to collect. The base URL and the resource we're looking for. You can see the type of data we're going to pull out from this. It's going to pull out the name of the coin, the symbol, the shilorg. These are some of the data we're going to get out of it. So let's go back to our crypto app. Just go back one step. The base URL right here, just, oh, let's go do it again. Click on the database, add collection, query market cap connection, the base URL, type that long list of items, the one we copied from here like so. Then add the item, click on the header, the, auth, the authorization, you add, put this, you copied it from query market cap and the value would add our API key, click on done, click on next, and 
for the resort key, for the resort key, you're going to say data because it, this is JSON we're talking about. JSON comes with pairs and keys. So the, the, pair, the key for this particular record is just this data. So we're going to put it here. Put it right here and just call it data. If you don't put it, it's it's going to output something, but it's going to output a lot of gibberish. So let's just try it. Let's say done. Click on next. Run test. It's going to, we're going to get an error. So you see, we are getting the data, but we have an error because it doesn't know the records to pull in, pull out. So let's go back. Click on the get or and just pull data right here. Click on done. Say next. This time we're going to get. Uh, we're going to get say test successful. You can see what we have in here. It's saying status, it's successful. So this is a 200. Click, cl click on create connection. So now we have another connection called Coin Market Cap connection. If we click on it, we have tons of data right here. This data is not coming from our own database. It's coming directly from Coin Market Cap. Yeah. So what we'll do now? Let's go. Let's come to our own page. We want to add a group to our own page. We want to add a group and make it a list. So let's just put a rectangle. It's going to be a simple application, but you can modify it the way you want to modify it. Click on this. Let's change the background color to white right there. Then to just give it that nice, nice uh, look, let's put a shadow, reduce the Y on the Y axis to, to two, the size to one. So we have this, we have this nice shadow right here. Then let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and add a test button. So just add a test. We'll add a test button. This is going to be the name of the coin. So then we'll go ahead again. Add a test button. This is going to be the date it was added. Yeah, like so. This is going to be the date it was added. This is the date it was added. So click on the test again, and click on the formatting. We're going to make this twenty. And we'll make it a bit bold to give it that look. Then we'll add a button that says learn more. Learn more so people so users can find out more information about the coin. Click on click on it. Say learn more. Learn more. And then take it with the icon, like so. Yeah, that's that's almost it. For the for the font, make it medium, like so. So that's it. Then let's let's go ahead and change the test. So right here, click on the magic test. We would say coin market cap. We would say name. You know, just click on the name. That's what we want. Oh, before we make it a name, we need to make it a group. If we don't make it a group, we're not going to see what we're looking for. So just click on this. <coughs> when I mean a group, I mean I meant a list. So click on it, make it a group. That's fine. Click on this group and make it a list. Yeah, click on the group. Make it a list of something. It's going to ask you what's it going to be a list of. So make a list. It's going to ask you what's it going to be a list of. Make it a list of coin market cap connection for the spacing. Put some spacing in between. Awesome, awesome. You're doing great. Put some spacing in between. Uh, I think the spacing is too much. Let's make it 20. So now that you got that. Uh, we've made this a list, so now we can enter. Click on the list inside of it. Click on the on the magic sign. Coin market cap. We would say name. Yeah, that's it. Click on the next test. This is a coin market cap. Coin market cap. You know, we're still using the coin market cap API. Click on the date added. Yeah, reduce it a little bit. Yeah, this is just the date for the button. I'm pretty sure Dalo is going to find, you know, figure out what to do with this button in the future because it really needs more formatting. So now that we're done with this, so now we want to configure the button. When it's clicked, what happened? So we'll go right here and click on the action. Say when, when it's clicked, it should go to a new screen. So we're just going to call this new screen Coin Details. Coin Details, click right here. So I'm giving it an R bar. For my alba, I want to change the way it looks. Uh, um, I, really, I would like to change the way it looks, but I'll just leave it that way for now. Then what happened? We want to add a test in between. Just add a test in between. That's what we want to do. Click on the plus sign and add a test in between. 
Then right here, we'll put it in the middle. Make it 22. Then make it bold. This time we want to call it the current coin market cap name. So if it's Bitcoin, it's going to be Bitcoin. If it's Ethereum, there's going to be Ethereum. Then take away the one on top, the test on top. We're going to take it away. We'll take the test, test on top away. So that's it. Then we want to add some sort of a table to just bring, add more details. You know, add more context, add more details to what we're looking for. Uh, so we want to add some sort of a table. This table is going to give more information to our users about the coin. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. More information to our users about the coin. That's what this table will do. So for the first information we're looking for, now this is about the particular coin. So we'd say plus sign, we want to add the we want to add some sort of a max supply. That's what we want to add. So then we'll add it here. Let's just add it. The left will be the test, why the why the right will be the value. So we'd say max supply. On the left right here, we want to type the word max supply. So to make things really fast, we just copy, uh, highlight this, make a group, add Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl C to copy. So put it here. The next one is main supply. So we're just going to add M I N space main supply as a main supply. Let's click on the plus sign and say. Mm, is there anything called a main supply? I don't know. So, so let's just call this uh, okay circulating supply. Let's make this circulating supply. Circulating supply. Then the next one will duplicate, duplicate it. So I'm pretty sure you get the way it works now, right? We're just calling stuff from the standard API. So majorly, if you are in the premium version, if you have the premium version of Coin Market Cap, Market Cap, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to you'll be able to do a lot of wonders. You'll be able to use a a lot of data. So if you're building a crypto application that will enable people to see what's happening in the, in the, in real time, see graphs, you know, stuff like that, you'll be able to you'll be able to do this real well. You'll be able to do this real well. So let's just add one one new thing. You know, let's just add one more. Then we'll do a demo of the application. So let's just add one more. So this time this is going to be called platform. Platform, click on it. So we're gonna call this platform, click on the plus sign, like so. Say platform. So now we're good. Let's click on the on the preview button and see what happens. So we'll just register, put our name, put our name, click on the sign up. So our application is connecting to the API. So you see we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tita. BNB, if you keep scrolling down, you keep seeing all this information. You see, we have lots of Bitcoin. It almost never ends. So let's let's click on Gala, for example. Let's click on Gala so we can see Gala. We can see circulating supply. We can see total supply. And we can see platform. So this is an object. This, this platform is going to be like a whole lot of platform. Uh, so it's something that we can fix in subsequent video, but we're not seeing a maximum supply. So let's click on Bitcoin. We will see all this with Bitcoin, yeah. And one thing that we can do is that we can sort it. So this is how simple the application is. You can do way, way more with this anyway. You can have a graph. Uh, the reason why you can have a graph is this. It has some very vital information. So if we click on this right here, if we click on this right here and click on the, the magic test, if you click on it, we have a whole lot of vital information. So we have this information. All these are numbers, USD price, USD volume in 24 hours, percentage in one hour. So you have all these are vital information. Say, for example, we want to add this uh, USD price. So you can easily tell how the prices are changing day after day. 
So let's just say price. Click on the preview button. Uh, let's sort it first. Click on price and sort it. Click on uh, click on this and add um, say feature. Feature. Is it feature we're adding or we're adding a sort? So let's just click on it. Let's click on that. Click on it. Feature by feature by date added. So we just feature by date. Date added. So you can add a feature, that's a feature, so it's going to feature by date added. And also, you can add a search bar to it. You can add a search bar, you can add a search bar where people can search for a particular coin since you have tons of coin right here. But let's just go ahead and just preview and see what we've done so far. So we have this. Uh, let's click on the learn more. So we have the current price. The current price is at today is 41007 that's the, that's the current price and we can further go back you know we can further go back and uh, click on the current price click on the click on the current price then put a prefix the prefix would be dollars yeah just add a dollar prefix to it then when you preview it when you preview it, the prefix that you're looking at would then be dollars it's supposed to be dollars. I don't know why it's not dollar right now. But when you preview it, when you add the prefix, preview it, the, the, it's going to be dollars. So that's how you do it. Meanwhile, I want to say something very important. Uh, I added this. It did not work. So uh, the query parameter did not work. I don't know why, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to figure that out. When I do, I'll create another video and I'll let you know. So that's how to call. That's how to create a Bitcoin watch application from an external API. So you can go. I go ahead right here and explore a lot of a lot of options right here. If you look at the cryptocurrency, it has a lot of options. So you can see market pairs. You can see price preference. You can see airdrops. So you can see latest airdrops. You can even create an application that enable um, users to see new airdrops. So people are crazy about airdrops, and you can create an app that enable people to see new airdrops using these same methods. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, you can always leave your questions. You can always subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. Leave your questions below and I'll do well to answer it. And if you need help with your no-code application, with your Dalo application, feel free to reach out to us at hi at no-code no code 45co Hi at nocode45.co. I'm going to leave it in the description. Feel free to click on it. And if you want to learn a whole lot about Adalo, we have a course in our academy that will teach you A to Z on how to get started with Adalo and build wonderful apps. So feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely work day ahead.